Hi everybody and welcome back to this channel. Today I'm doing a little bit something different and today we're talking about self-love, self-care and self development. Today's video is also a collab with a bunch of other girls that you definitely need to go check out. All our videos are completely different so definitely you have to go watch them all because they are all completely different and they might help you some way or another. I'll leave everyone's links down below in the description so you guys can go check them all out after you watch my video. But instead of me rambling on about everything, let's get started onto this video and let's talk about self-love. So I could sit here for the next 20 minutes and talk about myself and talk about my feelings and telling you that everything's going to be okay and you should love yourself and all this kind of stuff. But today I'm going to talk about my tips and tricks on looking after yourself physically, mentally and emotionally and just making sure that you can be the best person you can possibly be at the time. Let's talk about the physical things you can help yourself with self-love, self care and self-development it's a mouthful guys I know it's a mouthful I could say just one but then it confuses me when I talk about my little topics but let's talk about the little physical things that you can do to help yourself feel amazing one thing that I really like doing is getting up early going outside and watching the sunrise watching the sunrise can be such a good start to your morning you just go out you hear all the amazing birds just starting to wake up through their day going for a little nibble on your trees and you get to watch the sunrise from the start to the end I absolutely love watching the sunrise it comes straight over our bedrooms so we're really lucky to get almost the full sunrise in our backyard another thing you can do physically is exercise exercise is such a good thing for your body not only does it help you get fit and stay healthy is actually really good if you suffer from depression or anxiety it's a natural endorphin if you exercise it will release a chemical that helps you just relax and helps with dealing with depression naturally hug someone is next on my list having that physical connection even for a few moments is really good for your body it stimulates your skin and it makes you feel good having that little connection just for a moment or two makes you feel better than you were a moment or two ago a few other things that you can do physically to help yourself is take a bath and do some skincare if that's just plastic on a face mask face mask makes you feel so good if you're a man go for a face mask doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman face masks are absolutely essential for anybody I also, if you're a parent, just like myself, sometimes having baths and doing face masks is a little bit hard when you have a, a young child. So I would say hop into the bath and get your child into the bath with you. I do this a lot with Frederick and he just has a little play while I'm just laying in the bath relaxing and sometimes Frederick just lays there with me too and it's really nice to have that little connection with Frederick at the end of the day or the start of the day whenever you have a bath but it is good to have that little connection with your child and just unwind together. Next, let's talk about looking after yourself mentally. On the top of my list, something that you can do to look after yourself mentally is read or listen to a book. We've got those things called audiobooks now, so it's really easy to just listen to a book if you're not a reader like myself. I literally have one book from Mother's Day 2016 I think it was and I've literally only got like 20 pages in because I'm just not a reader. I've never been a reader but I definitely need to get audiobook so I can start listening to books because I definitely want to get into it more. But books are such an amazing thing. Not only do they help your mind click over, they help you refresh everything but they are so good just to sit down and just have a read instead of watching the TV. It simulates different things in your brain than what TV does and it's just so good for you you can learn a new skill if that's taking photos if that's sewing drawing literally anything learning a new skill can help your brain develop a little bit more and it's obviously amazing for you or I wouldn't bring it up I have obviously just got into doing photography and I absolutely love it even though YouTube is a creative outlet for me photography is just something else that I can just do to throw out my creative side if you're not into doing photography drawing 
or sewing or whatever it is to get your creative side out there you can get those things called those coloring books and you can just color away at the pictures it's actually a really good thing for anxiety to color so I would just suggest go grab a coloring book go grab some pencils or textures or whatever and just color in last thing to do with your mental well-being is definitely the most important and that is your phone your phone can be such a distraction to yourself with having social media having like literally anything facebook instagram snapchat twitter can be such a horrible thing to actually have on your phone seeing other people what they're doing and how they're living their lives can make such a dramatic change in your life because most people when they see something on social media they either become jealous or they're happy for them most of the time it's probably jealousy because let's be honest i'm gonna be jealous if someone's in paris and i'm not who is it? I just say shut off all your social media even if it's for a couple of hours just shut it all off turn your phone off throw it in the bedroom don't look at it just keep away from your phone it helps so much with your mental well-being also I would get rid of everything that comes with anonymous messages anonymous messages are absolutely horrible I don't last things I'm going to talk about are your emotional well-being this can definitely be hard for someone who doesn't really like to talk about their feelings like myself I obviously had depression when I was growing up and I was forced to talk to a counselor and I absolutely hated it. Some people are really good with talking to people and others aren't. I'm someone who doesn't really like talk to strangers, but family members or my husband or my my best friend, I'm really good with talking to them about how I'm feeling. One thing is definitely what I'm saying is talk to someone, talk to someone about your feelings, what's going on with your life, what you're worried about and they may help you in a way. Another thing you can do to help your emotional well-being is meditate. It's not something that I do really. I would love to get into meditating because I've heard really good things about it. I am into yoga which is really good. I love yoga so much so I probably should get into meditating because I've heard amazing things about meditating. Um, so definitely meditate. That's something that you guys can do. Just sit down outside on the beach wherever. Just have 10, 30, 40, how long you want to just sit there and just meditate, just unwind, just focus on your breathing and focus on your words that you say. Definitely something that I need to pick up because I think it would help me a lot. A few other things you can do to look after your emotional well-being is spend some time with a pet. Some people wouldn't say this, but spending time with pets are really good for you, especially cats. Cats help with depression a lot. Spending some time with your pets absolutely are amazing for you. Going outside for a walk, playing with them outside and just throwing the ball or playing whatever cats play with, my cats don't play. Um, but just doing anything, just spending some time with some of animals makes you feel really good. The last thing I want to talk about is definitely one of my favorites is play your favorite song on repeat. Just let it keep on going and going and going and going and it will just relax you. One of my favorite songs that I play while I'm stressed out is Over the Rainbow. I absolutely love this song so 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 much and I literally play it on repeat. It's like one of my favorite songs to play on repeat. I have a bunch of other songs. I actually have a playlist on my phone that says if you're stressed out play the. Basically that is everything that I've got on my list. Just make sure that you make a conscious decision of changing your old habits and bringing in new positive ones because this will make a amazing difference in your life if you throw out the bad vibes and bring in the good vibes but anyway i'm going to get going i hope you all enjoyed this video i know it's completely different to a lot of other videos that i've got on my channel i know i do a lot of vlogs but i just wanted to do something a little bit different and something a little bit more positive let me go check out everyone else's video that is in this collab like i said they are all linked down below so definitely go check them out say hi from me to all of them and i guess if you enjoyed this video definitely give it a like and maybe hit that subscribe button it would mean so much to me if you came along and joined us on our youtube journey but if not it is okay you don't have to but anyway, I'm going to get going, so I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!